The Kanza Prairie, 8,500 acres of native tall grass prairie in the Flint Hills of eastern Kansas. From afar, it may look like a barren world, but upon closer inspection, the landscape is teeming with flora and fauna like bison and wildflowers. Hey, what's that in the distance? A rocket ship? The Eiffel Tower? Let's go find out. Wow, look at all of these shiny tools. Scientists must use them to study the prairie here. I think I learned about this stuff in biology class. Hmm, okay. Um, the equipment on the ground tells us the soil moisture. Uh, the tall tower measures the movement of carbon dioxide into and out of the prairie. Yeah, I think that's right. Everything works together to tell us about the environment and the plants that live here. Wait, look, what's that up there? A camera? What's a camera doing out in the middle of the prairie? Surely nothing exciting ever happens out here in Kansas that would be worthy of documenting. Hmm, why don't we take a look to see what that camera can see? Whoa, I was wrong. Sorry, Kansas. I know what this camera does. This camera is part of the PhenoCam network. It's a digital camera that takes continual pictures of the prairie to create a record of plant phenological changes across the seasons. You may be asking what a phenological change is. Phenology is the study of periodic life cycle events like spring bud break or autumn leaf drop. But what can we learn about plant phenology from this camera? Here's a photo of the Kanza Prairie taken on January 1st, 2016. Notice that the grass isn't green. Here's a second photo taken on June 1st, 2016, just six months later. The grass is very green. A photo is taken every 30 minutes by this camera throughout the entire year and stored in an archive online. That's a lot of photos. We can take each digital image and extract out the red, green, and blue color channels to study plant phenology. Here's how. GCC, or green chromatic coordinate, is a measure of the percentage of greenness of an area of a photo. Let's think about white light for a minute. White light is made up of equal parts of red, green, and blue. In this case, the GCC is 0 0.33. This is the GCC value that would be expected for a snowy landscape since snow is white. In the springtime, as the landscape begins to turn green, the GCC value increases. We can make a graph of GCC against the day of the year to see the timing of transitions, for instance, when things green up or when things green down. Here's an example for a deciduous broadleaf forest with GCC increasing during spring bud break, remaining high over the summer, and decreasing during autumn leaf drop. Phenocams extend beyond the Kanza Prairie. By calculating GCC curves and studying them at sites across the country, as well as the world, we can see how climate change has been affecting the length of growing seasons. That's pretty darn cool. For more information, you can visit the PhenoCam network and check out other sites that may be in your neck of the woods.